we are playing Do Not Take This Cat Home. A creepy story game where you find a cute cat and take it home. But then suddenly, super cursed things start happening. It says kill. It says kill us at 3 a.m. I knew it. It was the blade from earlier. Ah! Yo. We play the whole game and learn the secret story behind the cat. And have to make crazy decisions that unlock secret endings. Wha what is this? Where did this cursed cat come from? And what will it do when we bring it home? Stick around to find out. Let's go! We are playing this game called Do Not Take This Cat Home. It's a cute little cat. Now, guys, we don't know anything about this game, but we heard it gets really creepy. Let's start, okay? You're not having a great day, as usual. What? Why not? Huh? Oh, it's raining. Oh, okay. today's a bad day? Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical. But... Maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today? Huh? Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. Right? You turn to head home when... <gasps> Meow! Meow! Oh, it's a cat! Huh? What was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently. Why are people going missing? Well, that and the weather. But none of them react to the sound at all. Yo! Curiosity guiding your steps. You follow the sound to the entrance of a dark, dingy alleyway. Oh, it's like a cat? You timidly enter the alley and walk a forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. Meow, meow! Finally, the sound source comes into view in the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is a cat! Aww! Nice, guys, so we found a cat. Huh, guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. Oh, it's cute. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Meow, meow. Huh? Uh, so, so cute! Okay. And it definitely knows it. You've never had much of an opinion one way or another about cats before. But if they're all like this one, it's a shock they haven't already found a way to rule the world. Okay. You don't think you'd mind bowing down to a feline overlord? What's going on, bro? Okay. You look around the alley with a small frown. Who just leaves cats in cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. Obviously. It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. As if waiting for you to make the next move. Okay, so we can either take the cat home or do not take the cat home. Now, guys, this is like a choose-your-own-adventure story, but we heard it's going to get super creepy. This cat might be cursed, bro. Uh, we're, let's take it home, bro. We got to take it home, bro. I love cats. We have to take it home. All right, let's take it home. All right, W. Okay, dot, dot, dot. You know what? You reach into the box and pick the cat up, holding it out in front of you. Why not? <coughs> meow, meow. You're all alone and well. I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so you bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then, but it slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Oh, the cat's scared. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Okay. <laughs> That's what cats do to Adam. You think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow, but for now... Let's get you out of the rain, okay? Okay, so we're helping the cat. The cat says meow, okay, but something tells me the cat gonna be sussy. You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food, then head back home. Okay. Guys, how is the story gonna end? You live in a modest apartment. Okay. One bedroom, one bathroom. One you living alone in it. Okay, so we're all alone with this cat. So it feels weird having another living being inside it after so long. Even if it is just a cat. Okay. Oh, it's our apartment. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curiously explores the new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. 
You take out the can of cat food and open it with the tab on top. Oh, there's the cat food, some sardines. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. Man, we pack videos on this channel like some sardines. <laughs> 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 it perks up at your beckoning and Damn. rushes over. <laughs> okay, it looks at the plate of food. Dot dot dot. Yeah, got boxy yes, and boxy and yes, boxy. Sir. And yes, it sir. completely ignores it. Oh, the cat doesn't want the food, bro. The cat doesn't want the food? Not hungry, I guess. Why not? You try not to let it annoy you. Okay, so the cat, we brought it home, we gave it some food, but it doesn't want the food, and we're starting to get annoyed. Don't get annoyed at the cat, it's just a cat. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. Yeah. It's just a cat, after all. True. I'll just leave it here. If you get hungry later, okay? Okay. The cat rubs its booty against your leg. Hey, yo! <laughs> Rubs his body against your leg with a purr. Stop! Hey yo! Hey yo, this man cannot read! This man cannot read, guys. Cat okay. rubs his body against your leg with a purr. Are you trolling, bro? You smile. That's enough of a thanks for you. Okay, cool. It follows you into the kitchen as you start on your own dinner. Okay, so we made the cat dinner, now we're making ourselves dinner, let's go. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Okay. Bread toasted. Mayo and mustard spread. Uh, mayo, ayo. Guys, so this is, like, <laughs> this is like a story. We brought the cat home, we're making our, we made it some food, and now we're making ourselves a sandwich. Where is this story gonna go? I'm very curious. Turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed. Turkey and cheese. Tomato, Tomato sliced. sliced. Oh, ow. Ouch. Uh-oh. You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing a tomato. Ouch, guys, be careful with knives, guys. Have supervision, because they're dangerous. Stupid. That's mean. Don't, don't call yourself that. That's not nice. You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. You're about to head to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops up onto the counter. How was it gonna eat the oof? Ew. It sniffs at the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. What? Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry. I'm alright. It was just an... Ah! You watch as the cat starts to... Huh? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. Ew! Lightly, but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. Oh, nah. This is, a, this is a cursed cat, guys. That is a cursed cat. Cats do not do that, guys. Cats definitely do not do that in the real world. That is disgusting. At your blood. What? You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. Ew, that is not safe for the cat or for us. That is not good, bro. Yeah, Ugh. that's that's icky. The cat sits back, staring at you. Hey, yo. You feel a little uneasy. Yeah, I'm very uneasy, bro. <laughs> sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird. Yeah, bro, that was sus. Right? Sure, you're no cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do. That is not something a cat does, guys. I, I know. Right? <coughs> well, regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat in need while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You were going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? That's not awkward, dude. That's not safe. That cat is not safe. Weird or not. It's just a cat. Oh, bruh. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Even after covering up your fingers cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at the wound. Oh, it's like a vampire cat wants to drink the oof, bro. While you're eating your sandwich. While you're cleaning up the kitchen. While trying to watch TV. You gently push it away every time, but you're starting to get worried at this strange behavior. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're food now? Oh. You're not sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. Nah, nah. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. Yeah, it's weird. It didn't eat the cat food. It just wants to drink our blood on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> meow. 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 What? Hey, yo, calm down. Ugh, come on. Enough already. 
You shove it away a little more forcefully, this time out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner and into the hall. You sigh deeply. Aw, uh, now we upset the cat. That's kind of sad. At this point, you're just worried that it's gonna take a bite out of you in your sleep. True. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. Okay. You can only hope. You don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out in the rain. All right, we can't give up on the cat, but yeah, we should probably take it to like a veterinarian or something because this is getting sus. After finding the number of a local vet, yep. you pick up your landline and... Huh, uh-oh. Oh, the lights went out? Hey, yo, no. Wait, what? Uh-oh, the lights just... Nah. Went out? The cat did it, bro. It probably ate the wires or something. Nah. Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. Oh. You check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. Uh, our phone is out of battery and there's no power? This is bad. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. The outing had been so spur of the moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. Okay. Oh, no. It's kind of spooky, guys. It's quiet. Too shh, quiet. Shh, shh. It's too quiet. I called it. Did the rain stop? But then, why did the power go out? Huh? It was the cat. I guarantee it was the cat. You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? 3 a.m. You turn to check the clock. Uh, uh oh. Uh, the uh, cat what? sits on top of your digital clock staring at you. It says, it says oof. It says kill. It says kill. It says 3 a.m. I saw that. Kill, help, 3 a.m. Oh, no. It says help. It says help. It says kill, help, 3 a.m. Oh, my goodness. This, this is, is bad. This is it's exactly what you'll see if you wake up at 3 a.m. You say, yeah! <laughs> 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 That's not good, guys. Except it says merch. Yeah. Th thinking now, you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but the numbers are lit up. Okay. And going completely haywire. Yep. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You'd think it was a statue if you didn't know any better. Guys, this cat is definitely cursed. First, it was drinking the blood, and now it's like making the clock mess up. Something's messed up. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not blinking, it's not even breathing, but it's eyes. Huh? Oh, bro. This isn't normal. You're afraid. I'm scared, bro. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat out after all. Oh. Uh -huh. But as soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. so, so like getting rid of the cat makes us feel sick? Why, bro? Because we're attached. Those eyes, it's eyes holds you still. Man, that's what Adam says about his mom. He says, I'm attached to mommy. What? <laughs> it's crazy. Even with, I don't say that, even with yeah, your flashlight trained on it. Yes, he does. Its pupils are large, round, inky pits. Oh, uh, lights are flickering. The flashlights flicker. What? It can control the flashlight? Hey, yo. <gasps> and the cat is gone. What? Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence punctuated with the rapid pumping of blood in your heart is overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up on the sound of static all around you. What? How is the clock working with no power? Yeah. You don't know why such a question matters at the moment, but you feel as if having the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. That order will be restored. Yeah, how is this working? Maybe it's batteries. I don't know. Bluetooth, maybe? But no answer comes to mind. Yeah, USB. <laughs> you, you back away from the clock and feel as if the air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response. Like a predator prepared to prounce. Hey, man, you be careful. That cat's about to prounce on you. <laughs> but, but waiting. <laughs> Waiting for your next move, but you're afraid to move. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm starting to think this is all a dream. Like, I think the cat's not even real. Like, I think this person is just like kind of losing their mind alone in their apartment because it doesn't make any sense. You're afraid to even take a breath. <gasps> what? But you can't stay still forever, right? Nope, gotta keep moving. Whatever is watching you, you can already feel its impatience. It's too eager. You don't know how you know this but you can sense it as clearly as if it had whispered. 
Let's play. What? Right into your ear. Sus, right into your soul. What? It won't let you wait it out. Not that you could even if it did. Okay. You can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you. Why? Making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement. Of action. Adam says he has that. He says he has primal instincts. <laughs> but you're still weak from the fears grip it on your mind. Your legs tangle together under you in your haste and you fall to the ground. Man, they could they collapse. I feel like, man, bro, till they collapse, I honestly feel like this person is starting to lose their mind and they just fell over. <laughs> ah Ouch. Uh-oh. Ouch. A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. What? No way we just stepped on the on the blade. That'd be crazy. At first, you think you've broken your ankle. But something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot, pooling underneath it. What? You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles after skidding across the floor, as if it had been kicked. I knew it. It was the blade from earlier. Ugh. Yep. Ugh. Winded from your fall, you look up in a daze and see the object glinting in a strange light coming in from outside. Oh, it's the blade. Oh, that's so dangerous, guys. That's why you gotta be careful with that, bro. They stepped on it? Are you trolling? The light pouring in from your now open front door. What, the cat escaped out the front door? Thoughts of how, when, who, what in regards to your inexplicably open door screech to a halt. As your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. Huh? It's the blade. <laughs> it's your kitchen knife. Yeah and still tinted red from your earlier blunder? But that's not right. Yeah, that's not right. The cat like cleaned it, right? Wasn't it completely lit clean by the- That's what I said. <gasps> you gulp dryly at the pain in your foot. <laughs> okay. You barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on. It was the cat. The cat like knocked it off. I know they do that. Instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you'd left it. Oh, it's the cat. I knew it. When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife, it spies right back at you. Ah! A pair of glowing golden eyes come forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. Oh, bruh. Uh, it pads lightly over to the knife as if skipping in delight. Man, he's skipping in delight because he's going to drink the blood on it, bro. This is a creepy cat. Oh! And bends down to lap at the blood dripping from the blade. Okay, that's disgusting. And guys, that is not a normal cat. If the cat ever does that, bro, take the cat to a, a veterinarian. Now, guys, I'm trying to predict the ending. Do you think? I feel like the cat is not even real. I feel like this person's imagining this whole thing. There's no way, right? Like it's actually a human or something? No, like they're just imagining. I don't know, bro. Ah. Ah. Your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you. The chill of the air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of your shaky breaths, discordant against the static, now piercing your skull. The dryness on your tongue spreading to your throat. This person's losing their mind. The incomprehensible sight of the stray you've taken in. Licking away at your kitchen knife, once again, completely clean. Sus. The scent of blood from the flesh wound on your foot. The flesh wound, indeed. Oh, fresh wound. Blood? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Golden eyes slide up to you as if in response to your sudden realization. Blood? You're hurt. Your foot is bleeding. Wait, the, the person who fell down didn't even realize that they hurt themselves? What? You're bleeding. Yeah, I know. You're bleeding. I know, bro. The cat barely moves, shoulders twitching as if it's just considering the act of pouncing forward. Was the cat gonna attack us? No way. But you're already on your feet and out the door. Nice, we got out of there, bro. Time to book it. You run, or rather limp, down the empty street. Wait, they're doing this and they're just they're just dripping blood everywhere? Bro, you gotta clean that up, man. The sky is black and bleeding red. What? But there's a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in white. What? 
the houses, the trees, the road, even you. Everything except your blood. Oh my goodness. You can just barely glimpse the bloody imprints your injured foot leaves in your wake with every impact it makes with the ground. Ew, that's that's not safe, guys. You gotta clean that up because the you might get infected, bro. Bro, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> but you can't stop. You don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, bro. Not when the shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. What is going on? Uh-oh. Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Tell me it's not the cat. Even then, you don't stop running because... <gasps> if that's the cat right there ahead of you, then... Huh? Huh? What in the world is behind you? Oh, so the cat's in front of us. Wait, what's what's the shadow from behind us from? Look behind you or keep running? Oh, no. Look behind you. I, I want to know. <clears throat> I want to know what it is, bro. Okay, let's look back at it. Okay. Huh? 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 Another cat? Interesting. How very, very interesting. No, it's not a cat, bro. Huh? Ending zero, it begins. We got ending zero, bruh. Let's continue and see if we can pick the other option. Okay, guys, so we respawn in the apartment. It says, do something alone, do something with the cat. So, guys, that thing that we just got was an ending. That was ending zero. So, should we do something alone, do something with the cat? We but, gotta pick new, new answers. Let's do something with the cat. Okay, like what? Pet cat, feed cat, play with cat, clean cat. What should we do? Let's, uh, feed them. Okay, feed them. We tried to feed them last time. The cat looks hungry, so you decide to feed it. You're regretting not stopping for food earlier as you don't have much left. Grocery shopping day is tomorrow after all. Okay, wait, so this is a different ending, guys. You head to the kitchen and click your tongue, ensuring the cat follows after you. It leaps nimbly onto the kitchen counter and watches as you search for meal options. Hmm, let's see. You find some things you expect. Oh. A can of tuna in the pantry. Okay. The leftover meatloaf in the fridge. Okay. And... What is that? <laughs> huh? What's that? Was that brains? <laughs> nah. You realize there's a tightly sealed Tupperware on the bottom shelf of the fridge. Okay. Oh, it's glitched. Oh, no. You don't recognize it. What is that? A foul odor is leaking from the container. Uh. Whatever's inside can't be safe for human consumption. <laughs> Meow, meow. What, the cat wants that? No way. Uh. First he wants to drink our blood, now wants to eat that? But the cat seems excited about it, practically salivating over it. Ew. What should we feed it? Still, you're the caretaker here. You're the one who needs to decide what's best to feed a hungry cat. So, you'll feed it. Okay, guys, we give it the tuna meatloaf for the mystery food. Uh. Let's give it mystery meat, man. All right, guys, never feed... Animal stuff that you don't know what it is. But we're going to do it for the sake of this game. Let's go. Dinner time. Is this really a good idea? I don't think so. Meow, meow. Oh, he really wants it. Okay. Ugh, fine. I guess is this is what you want. Okay. You open the container and... Ew. Ugh, ugh. You just barely managed to keep from throwing up. But just barely. The stench is overwhelming. Ugh. <laughs> Meow. Yeah, yeah. Give, give me a minute. You hazard a look at the contents of the container, but... Uh. What is that? You honestly can't understand what you're supposed to be looking at. Everything is just mashed together. Okay. What exactly everything consists of is a, is a mystery you're more than happy to keep unsolved. Yeah. Different shapes, different sizes, different textures... Uh, Not the color, though. All of it's the same color. The most unfortunate-looking shade of gray you've ever seen. Uh, Tinted with a nauseatingly wet green film over the top. Ew, was the cat's gonna eat that? <laughs> am, am I supposed to warm it up, or...? Nah, don't put that in the microwave. Disgusting. You don't really know how to serve it. Any utensil or plate that touches it is getting thrown out immediately. No exceptions. 
your hands are going to be scrubbed with soap and hot water to within an inch of their lives after this. You decide against putting this stuff in your microwave. You doubt it would taste or smell any better warm. Not wanting to hold it anymore, you shake your head and practically toss the container next to the cat on the counter. Meow! The cat enthusiastically dives for the toxic looking sludge, sniffling as it's favoring the scent. Okay. You turn to the fridge and close it. You've lost your appetite. You're about to head to the bathroom to wash your hands for the next hour or so when... Ew, dude, it ate it? Oh, ew. ew. What's going on? Ow. A sharp pain on your foot causes you to stumble. No way, it's the blade again. <laughs> you catch yourself on the kitchen sink and look down to see that the tip of your sock is... Ew. Red. Okay, we just bumped our foot really hard? What? And the red is still slowly spreading to the rest of your sock. Uh. Are you bleeding? How do we do that? You quickly reach down and pull off your sock to see the damage. Huh. toe go your middle toe is gone okay guys this is all just a weird dream there's no what, what, what just happened it's just gone just a stump is left in its place did the cat eat our foot bro steadily leaking blood onto the floor nah this doesn't even make sense bro ah, uh, ah. Ah. why does person keep keep hurting their foot and they don't know how you clumsily step back as if it would help you get away from what you were seeing the blood trail simply follows your movements 911? What? what? You have to call 911. Phone, where's the. Uh, uh, ouch. What? Uh, 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 huh? Uh, uh, what, what? Your. Your tongue is. What? Worth. Of the, uh, what's what? happening to me? What? Huh? Uh, you slowly look over to find the cat still eating. So guys, this has to be like a dream or like a metaphor, bro. The cat is eating the thing, but as it eats, our, the parts of our body are like falling away. So I, are we supposed to be the sludge? I don't really understand. This is deep, completely unbothered by your suffering. Not bothered to try and stop the blood from dribbling out of your mouth. What? You keep watching in a daze as the cat happily chews at a gross piece of... Huh? Wait, that's... You look more closely at the mystery food in the cat's jaws. Tell me it's not their foot, bro. It looks vaguely familiar. It looks like a tongue. What? Ah. <sighs> Hey, yo! Before you can even think to do anything to stop it, the cat dives into the container again and bites into a piece that looks kind of like your tongue. Ah! Ouch, uh, ouch. You collapse on the floor, clutching your torso. Was it our heart? You writhe around on the blood streaked tiles, crying. Something, something's inside you just. Ah, uh, ouch. Morg. Blood pours out from deep within you. This is real deep, bro. What is going on, though? Whatever that was, felt important. Oh. And now, it's probably gone, too. What? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh. Don't, please stop. You weakly try to reach up to the cat on the counter above you. Your vision blurs from the effort, from the pain, from your tears, from... What? Ugh. We oofed. That's another ending. Ugh. That's another ending. Your, your eyes. eyes. Your eyes. Oh, we lost our eyes. You fall, you fall limply back to the floor. Hey, yo. You're leaking blood all over. Uh. From all over. Uh. Your foot, your mouth, your insides, your eye sockets. Ow, ow. You can feel your life fading away too. What does this all mean, bro? That's fine. That's deep, dude. If it means not feeling the pain of losing another part of you, then... That's deep, man. What does it all mean? Hopefully the cat will take its time eating your eyeballs. What? And give you time to just, just... You are what you eat. That makes so much sense. It almost makes a dollar, bro. Wow. Okay, guys, so we got two endings. One was like the cat made our clock go all crazy and like we ran outside and there's a shadow. The next one was the cat ate us alive, apparently. So I'm just not gonna take the cat home. I'm not... 
I don't like this cat anymore, bro. This cat is definitely cursed. Do not take it home. I'm just not going to take it home, so I have no problems. Sadly, as cute as the cat is... Yup, see ya. <laughs> see ya. You'd never take this thing home with you. That's what I'm saying, bro. If we don't take the cat home, we have no problems. There we go. You just can't take it home with you. That's what I'm saying. I'm not taking it. You're a responsible adult. That's what I'm saying. I'm not taking it. Meow. Oh, we have to. Y you are. With rent and bills to pay for, not to mention you need to buy food to survive too. That's true, man. There is no way you could care for a cat long term, right? Correct. You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. Meow. Man, he really wants to be taken home. What to do? Okay, leave cat, feed cat, play with cat on second thought. Oh, question mark. What about this? What if I just click this? This is the final ending, guys. Let's oh, try no. question mark. Should we just say leave cat? I just don't. Dude, I don't want to deal with it, bro. It ate us alive. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just leave it. Leave it. Goodbye, buddy. See ya. You don't think it's a good idea to get the cat's hope up of having someone look after it if you're not willing to commit. True. What if it gets attached and somehow tracks you down back to your home? True. Sorry, see you around, I guess. Later. You stand up, the cat watching your every move. Later. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. Meow. Meow. Well, <laughs> well, it looks like you're not so strong now, Mr. Eat Our Eyeballs. See you <laughs> later, buddy. The cat really wants to hang out with us. Uh, ignore, turn back. Nah, bro. No, no, no. And no. Every ending's been bad. Ignore. See ya. Nope. Nope. You need to nip this in the bud and get on with your day. Yes, sir. It's what's best for both of you. Yes, sir. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Okay, this might be the good ending. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dealing with your furry dilemma, you'd forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were going to do for your day off. I okay, think go all... watch... Oh, nice! Go watch a movie, go to the carnival, go to the dog park. Hey, yo! Can we adopt a dog? Let's go to the dog park, man. Let's go. Okay. You decide to take a stroll in a park or something. Yeah, that sounds nice. The only one within walking distance is the nearby dog park. Yep. You think it'll make you feel better. Yeah, man. First, you get to see a cute cat today. Now, you'll get to see a cute dog. Yes, sir. That is a good way to feel better. Several of them, in fact. Yes, sir. The park is bustling with owners and their canine companions. Playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. Nice. Such cuties, whatever. What? Wait, what? Why did it say whatever? Why did it do that? Like you'd want anything to do with these mangly mutts. Okay, so I feel like the main character is kind of losing their mind because they're having fun looking at dogs and then the, like the, the, the words kind of changed and they're like, whatever, you wouldn't even have fun. So I think the person, they're, they're starting to like, their brain is starting to go nuts. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Even they're confused. What's wrong? Yep. You didn't think that? Yeah, we did, apparently. You decide to move on. Okay. The dogs are all so adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know, not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Yeah, guys, don't pet people's pets without asking first. Not all dogs appreciate it either. True. So you stroll around the path, trying to exude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies to you. Okay. You don't have to wait very long. <laughs> Nice. Oh, okay. You stop at the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampers up to you, blocking your path. That's a cute dog. Oh, wh ah, what is this? Ah, what is, what are these options? Okay, so there's a uh, leave the park, kick the puppy. Never do that, guys. Kill the puppy. Obviously don't do that. Eat the puppy. You can't do that. Or pick up the puppy. Guys, what is this game? I honestly think the character that we're playing as is going nuts. Like, they're having... They're, this is what Adam says when he says he lets the intrusive thoughts win, bro. <laughs> like, these are these are crazy thoughts, bro. Do not have these ideas, bro. Let's just pick up the puppy and, and be nice. Good idea. Let's just pet Wait, it. Wait, but we shouldn't pick it up, bro. It's not ours. Should we just leave? No, let's pick it up. Let's see what happens. Okay. You pick up the puppy and... What? Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, one second, one second, zero seconds. Ah, uh, 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 we got oofed again. Terrified, you drop the puppy to the ground, practically throwing it from you. Nah, that's not safe. That's not nice. What is going on? You immediately feel horrible, wincing in a guilt at the tiny yelp it releases upon hitting the ground. 
Guys, I'm convinced the main character is crazy. The main character picked up the dog and then freaked out and then yeeted the dog. That is not nice, bro. The owner shoves you aside with a cutting glare and storms away with their puppy. Yeah, if I was the owner, I'd be mad. You just threw our puppy. What? Uh, I'm sorry. You call out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expected them to. You deserved it. Oh, bruh. Wow. You're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave? Leave the park or stay at the park? Uh, we should leave, bro. This is a bad look. We should get out of here. It's time to skedaddle. It's time to skedaddle. Uh, 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 was that the cat again? Uh, 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 uh. Good. What? Well... Was that, was that, was it because the cat cursed us? Because cats don't like dogs? Is that what happened? Because I, I saw a cat when it said good. I okay, go. I'll... Now we're back to movie, carnival, or dog park. Let's go see a movie, man. Let's just chill out. It's been a while since a film came out that looked interesting enough for you to drag yourself to a movie theater. But there's a showing of one such film at the old theater. The movie was a little too niche to be picked up by the new cinema that opened right across the street. That's okay, though. You're not exactly a fan of the crowds. And nothing ruins the experience of watching a new movie for you more than a noisy audience. That's true. I can't watch a movie with Adam. I can't. Yeah, and we go to the theater and he goes, Mama, I need to go bathroom. No, I don't. And then, and then everyone in the theater boos oh. us, man. It's awful. Go to the old theater, go to the new cinema. <laughs> Let's go to the old theater. That's where the movie I want to see is at. Let's go. I don't do that. Yeah, he does. He does, guys. You, you eagerly buy your ticket from the kind old man in the booth and head inside. I get the cheesy nachos at the movie theater, it's lit. It's barren of any trance of other people and the decor looks like it hasn't changed since the 80s. Maybe even the 70s. But it's what you were counting on. You consider buying some popcorn. But can't help be concerned that everything at the concession stand might be expired. But what? You move on and walk through the halls, finally locating the theater designated on your ticket stub. As expected, the theater your movie will be playing in is completely empty. Perfect. Okay, we're all alone. You pick a spot right in the middle, even counting the seats and taking into consideration the gap of the staircase. So I'm really starting to learn, guys. This game is actually really deep. I think the main character, they definitely, their brain is just working in a very interesting way. Like they're sitting all by themselves and they're like counting the seats and like looking at how far the staircase is. Like their brain is definitely like something's going on upstairs, bro. Uh-huh. As you settle in, the dim light fade away, leaving the room pitch black for a few seconds before the screen flickers on. No commercials or trailers pop up. The movie just begins. Pleased, you shrug and let yourself get immersed in the opening scene. But just as you're getting into the premise, uh -huh. the doors open behind you, momentarily casting light into the room and ruining the atmosphere. You hold in a frustrated sigh. It's a public establishment after all. True. The place can't exactly afford to stay open if you're the only customer there. True, true, true. Yeah. You try to refocus on the movie, but you sense the new presence slowly shifting around the theater before heading in your general direction. What? Huh? Uh, oh, it's a person. Oh, they sat right in front of us. That's the worst. You gape in utter disbelief as the stranger shuffles down the aisle only to sit right in front of you. Man, you already know I'm getting up and sitting right in front of them again. Yup. There's no one else here and plenty of places to sit. The stranger is also unusually tall, like Justin. Even with the stadium-like arrangement of the seats being on a somewhat steep incline, they're completely blocking your view. Okay, move to another spot or confront them. Let's just move to another spot. It's no problem. We don't need to confront them. It's no big deal. They can say wherever they want. Plenty of seats. Let's just move. It's all good. Yeah. You don't want to risk escalating the situation further. This whole thing is already making you uneasy. Why would they choose to sit right in front of you? Surely they know you wouldn't be able to see past them. Shaking your head with a passive aggressive scoff in the stranger's direction. <laughs> you reluctantly pick another, less perfect seat in the theater. Okay. But as you settle down, you see the strange person get up. No way they sat in front of us again. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Only to once again sit down in the seat directly in front of you. Bro, I, you know what I think it is, guys? This is just my take. I, I could be wrong. I honestly think the main character, 
I feel like they're they're imagining this. I don't think it's true. I think it's the same as the cat and the dog. I think they're like seeing things in their brain and it's like it's forcing them to be unhappy. Like they had this happy little cat, but then they like start like bleeding and stuff. And I think with the dog, like they went crazy and yeeted the dog. I feel like this is not even a real person. I feel like this is all in their brain. Mmm. You look around somewhat helplessly as if waiting for someone to silently agree with you about how odd all of this is. Or to at least inform you that it's all an elaborate prank. But there's no one else here with you. That's how you've always liked it, but... You can't help but think that maybe it would be nice to have someone else here if it meant not being alone with this weird jerk. Okay, move to another spot or confront them. Uh, dude, I'm not, we're not gonna confront them. Let's just move. It doesn't matter. If they do it again, then we should say something, but I honestly think this person's not even real. Let's move to another spot. You move again. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and again, uh, they sit right in front of you. Okay, now we can talk to him. Let's not confront them, but let's just be like, hey, excuse me, buddy. You bristle, annoyed, and a little humiliated. Are they just getting a kick out of this or something? You've wasted enough time with this jerk that you don't even know what's going on in the movie anymore. Okay, l okay, now we can't move again. Let's just confront them. Now, guys, don't confront people. Just ask them politely what they're doing. It's no big deal. You hate confrontation. You can already feel your palms starting to sweat at the idea of it. Your throat's closing up and your body's starting to shake. You've always been more of a flighter than a fighter. But you paid for this ticket. You've wanted to watch this movie for ages. And now this total stranger has ruined the entire experience for you. You're all alone in this theater. There's no one who'll help you if something goes wrong. But you're angry enough that you can't ignore the signs of your body begging you to put as much distance as you can between yourself and this stranger. You stand up. Even standing and higher up on the incline, this stranger is still at least a head taller than you. Boy, how's that possible? They're like super tall. They're like 10 feet tall. No, I'm telling you, this is all in their imagination. The movie continues to play in the background, but you feel as if a hush immediately falls shh, heavily over the theater at your movement. As if you can sense the stranger anticipating what you plan to do next. You square your shoulders and force a little bass into your voice. Hey! Huh? The effort makes your words come out more harshly than you intended, like a sudden and vicious bark but you figure they deserve it anyway. You're being a real jerk, you know that? Just what are you playing at, huh? Are you trying to make me upset? Okay, they're not saying anything. Silence, we're not saying anything. The silence that follows your words is deafening. So much so that you glance at the screen only to find that the movie has paused? What? So guys, yeah, this person is imagining stuff. They're, that's crazy. This game actually did a really good job, guys, of like really throwing us off. I feel like it's trying to get in the mind of someone who like really is just like, I don't know, they can't trust themselves, almost. Huh? Hmm? Your attention is ripped back to the stranger in front of you as they shift slightly. Like a small animal trying desperately to anticipate the moves of a predator. What? You don't move an inch. You don't look away. You don't dare to blink. Uh. Instead, your eyes widen as the person's head turns. Uh. Then, turns some more. Who's that? Huh? Huh? Then turns more, beyond what should be possible, neck bones cracking. Ah! To face you directly. It's either a monster or imagining- Oh no! Ah. Ah! You can't move. We got hypnotized. Wide, glowing eyes resting above a wider, grinning mouth gaze down at you. This is sus, bro. The stranger opens their mouth and what comes out? is something impossible to comprehend. Meow. Uh, what is that, the cat? <laughs> Meow. Man, Adam does that sometimes to his mom when he can't have more milk. Oh, bruh. The voice is endlessly deep and creaks like a weighty door, foreboding and oddly melodic. What? Alluring. But it also snaps you out of your terrified trance, and before you know it, you're already out the door. We're out of there. Is that an ending? Oh. You run through the halls of the empty theater, heading for the exit. Guys, so my my guess is that none of this is real. I think the person just sat down in the theater and they like, like they basically panicked or they had like anxiety and then they just left. Because it's an empty theater. There's no one in there. So right? it was all in their brain, man. I, that's what I think, guys, but I don't know. I think it's up to everyone to figure out what they think. Yeah, let us know in the comments, guys. You feel something watching you from behind. 
Uh, but you're too afraid to look. Uh, the exit now in sight, you sprint forward and burst through the doors. You look around frantically and spot the crowded cinema across the street. People, that's what you need. Safety and numbers and all that. Without thinking, you rush into the street when a sinking sensation crawls down your spine, compelling you to look behind you. Okay, oh. wait, what? Go to the new cinema or look behind, what? Let's don't, do the don't says, look behind you. It says don't look behind you, don't look behind you, don't look behind you, don't look. So I think this person just has like a lot of like anxiety or something. I, I think they're like very scared because that, that thought, don't look behind, don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it. That's like, that's real, that's real intense, bro. Let's look behind us. Let's see, are they following us? It's gonna be an ending, bro, it's gonna be an ending. Despite your resistance, you feel your head turning to look back on its of its own accord. While in the middle of the street, the cat, <gasps> you catch a glimpse of a grotesque looking person standing behind the glass door of the old theater, watching you intensely, cradling something in their arms. It's definitely the cat, bro, they own the cat. Something familiar. Wow, so it's either all in our head or there's actually like an evil mystery man and he's the one who sent the cat on us to oof us and do all this crazy stuff, guys. Wow, but... Beep! What? Huh? Ow! Oh! What? Bruh, we weren't looking because we turned back. Oh, a glimpse is all you get as a truck speeds forward and crashes into your body. Guys, always look both ways, that's why. Oh my goodness, bro. Is that a new ending? Is the oof ending? No way. That was such a cool story. You're killed on impact. Your body splattered across the road and crushed further under the heavy tires. What? Ending 16, wow. We got all the craziest endings in this game, let's go. Yeah. Oh.